how does it feel after 80? <laughs> oh, yes, ma'am. How, how did I feel? After 80. <laughs> I didn't feel any different. Good. <laughs> <laughs> How long were you? How long did you teach, or how long were you in education? I taught about forty-four years. Wow. Mm -hmm. My last position was at Cameron of Junior High. Okay. I was there twenty-one years, Just, okay. and it was an integrated situation. Okay. That's where I retired from. Okay. All right. In nineteen seventy-five. <laughs> So the graduation was held in Dexter, Dexter Hall mm -hmm. in Waco. Sure, sure. And we didn't have caps and gowns. I had been in a wedding that summer. Uh -huh. So I wore a blue organza dress <laughs> with a pink slip. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, fancy. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's blue over pink. Okay. And I remember some of the ladies that were in my class. Mm-hmm. And I remember my history teacher, my constitution, Gillum. His name was Gillum. Mm-hmm. And he was from Harris Switch, mm -hmm. out from Waco. That was his home. Okay. Now, did you stay on campus, or where where are you from? I'm from Cameron. Do you remember? How, do you remember how many people you graduated with? Oh, there were several. Um, several means a whole lot. Uh, <laughs> oh, I can name some of them. Who, who is there? Anybody you remember the most, as far as your classmates? Bernice Thompson. And what do you remember the most about Miss Thompson? Well, we were always good friends. We always loved to go, and when I, I wanted to go, she would be ready. And, <laughs> and we shared. If we didn't have, I didn't have money. She shared with me. She had money. Okay. All right. It was always a good relationship between us. Um, of course, I had a sister. Dorothy Duncan, who graduated from Paul Quinn, she lived in Waco. Then Latona Ross, she started in Paul Quinn. Then Bud Kelly, Ed Elwood Kelly, now that's my brother. They all went, all came to Paul Quinn. Okay. What do you do on a daily basis? What kinds of things do you do? Uh, watch TV. <laughs> watch Jerry. Watch Jerry? Jerry Springer? <laughs> Wait, which Jerry? Which Jerry do you watch? On TV. Jerry Springer? Mm hmm Oh, okay. <laughs> Everybody needs a good laugh. <laughs> So is that is that your entertainment? That's what makes you oh, laugh? Oh, really not, but I do turn on and watch it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, I like the game store. The game, game shows. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And to see how many questions I can answer, or how many I can miss, I miss. Ask a question. I tell you, I've had a real good life. A real yeah. good life. Yeah. We were poor, but we were a happy family. Yeah, yeah. And we all knew how to work. Mm -hmm. We all went I mean, to school. What, what kind of advice would you give kids that's that's just never changed in all your years about going to college and being successful? The, I don't know. Children just don't take us. Uh, of the great advantage that they have. The, the advantage for kids to go to school today is much better than it was when I went to school. Mm. They get their books free in high school. We had to pay for our books. In public school, did you have to in pay for your books? We had to pay for them. 
Okay. Yeah. They get free rides to school. Mm-hmm. We just have to walk. Mm-hmm. If we live three miles, we walk three miles. Well, Ms. Anderson, thank you very much. Uh, we appreciate your time. We appreciate the interview. Um, and so, yeah, just thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Well, it's a pleasure for me to do it. All right. All right. Good enough, then. We really, really appreciate you, ma'am. Really do.